You know what, yeah? There will always, there's always going to be some kind of movement. We got the veganism movement. We've got Black Lives Matter. We've got feminism and all that. There's always going to be some movement, but I cannot. I don't like feminism. Yeah. I like the fact that women have equal rights with men. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Like shit, like you know, like in the Middle East, yeah. It's fucking disgusting that women are not allowed to drive. Yeah? Certain countries are there, you know. Some women aren't allowed to drive. Yeah. Let alone vote. Yeah. Some women aren't allowed to drive. You know, I'm sure back in the UK a long time ago, women weren't allowed to vote or nothing like that. Yeah. It's bad that women aren't allowed to drive in these countries and that, isn't it? Yeah. So it's almost like there's no, there's no, there's no medium. It's always like one person, one, one, one nation's always at one extreme. The other nation's at a different extreme. In the UK, women are just free to do whatever they want, yeah. And the men from the Middle East must be looking into the UK, right? Or anyone who's like, let's say like people who practice Islam or whatever in it, yeah. Anyone from the Middle East or practice Islam or whatever in it, yeah, they must be looking over into this country. Or men that are here and be like, fucking hell. These women, boy, yeah, just so they don't got no respect for themselves. They're allowed to carry themselves the way, however they want or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But in some of the Middle Eastern countries, they're a bit too extreme. Women aren't allowed to vote. Women aren't allowed to drive. Women have to cover up from head to toe or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But in this country, women are just free to do whatever the fuck they want. They can walk down the road. I see a girl walking past my house the other day with shorts so short. I could see her ass hanging out at the bottom of her shorts. I thought, God forbid that girl had a big bum, boy. She, man will be crashing their cars looking at that. Yeah? I think in, the, and in this country, they're taking feminism to a next level where they're trying to emasculate men as well. I've got a fucking problem with that. Yeah? I've got a serious problem with women trying to emasculate men. You know what? It's not even just women trying to emasculate men. It's the emasculation of the 2020 male. You know, in Sweden, yeah, do you know what they're trying to do? In Sweden, they're trying to get boys, school children, to not stand up and pee. Yeah? So, you know, you're a man watching this right now, yeah? I fucking hope to God that you stand up and piss like a fucking man, yeah? They don't want boys and children, male children, to stand up and piss no more, innit? Yeah? They say, ah, oh, it's more hygienic for them to sit on the toilet. So they basically, yeah, they want them to sit on the toilet like little girls, yeah? They say it's more hygienic for them to sit on the toilet and piss, which might be true, Carl. We all know. Fucking hell. Just go to uh, the, the men's toilets in the pub, yeah? Boy, I'll tell you about some nightclubs I've been to in a minute, yeah, about how nasty they are or whatever, innit, yeah, but... We know how nasty they are, innit? Yeah. So yeah, they got a point there, yeah. It's more hygienic for them to sit on the toilet. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, yeah, about the hygiene, yeah. From the beginning of time. Whether you want to believe in evolution or not, yeah. From when man erected, yeah, homo erectus, man started walking on two feet upright, yeah, shoulders back, chest up, yeah. Man was pissing, standing up, yeah. Man have been doing that again. You might not believe in evolution. Human beings, we've been around for like a million years or whatever, innit? Yeah. If you believe in God, you only think the world is about 10 or 12,000 years old, yeah? which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, boom. Yeah. Man have been standing up pissing for a million years, yeah, from when the first human beings walked around, yeah. How are you going to try and e erase that and, and, and change that now? Yeah. You want a boy, a teenager, a grown man to sit on the toilet and piss like he's a fucking girl. That is emasculating men. They're taking a fucking piss. So yeah, that's what they're trying to do in Sweden. They don't want boys to um, stand up and piss no more. They want them to sit on the toilet like little girls. Yeah. They want little boys in schools, in our schools, in the UK. They want little boys to, to wear skirts. What, are they from fucking Scotland? Are we from Scotland or something like that? Playing the bagpipe. Why is a boy wearing a fucking skirt? Why is a boy wearing a dress? It's madness. 
But yeah, man, been to some nightclubs. My fucking god, in Muswell Hill, yeah. Any lot from London, Muswell Hill, North London, yeah. There was a uh, a club called the Hill, apparently. Yeah, I never went there when it was called the Hill, but I went there when it was called Socialite Bar. Yeah, just you know, like these places they change management and shit like that. Innit? One time I went into the toilet, yeah, I've only been in this place once or twice, I think. I went into the toilet, yeah, there was, this is a, a rave, yeah, a nightclub, there was piss everywhere, no, all over the seat, all over the handle, all over the mirror, spray up, spray up, spray up, there, there was a mirror, there, I swear there was piss on the fucking mirror, there was piss all over the place, yeah, I'm thinking, what was the fucking point of even just even lifting up that toilet seat or man this place are nasty so and pub toilets and that they're horrible yeah but still i've even been to i've even been to um there's one place yeah in brixton yeah cold harbour lane yeah any of you lot know brixton cold harbour lane yeah if you go if you're on cold harbour lane and you're walking towards the KFC, right? There's a KFC on the right-hand side, right at the end of the road where it meets the high street, yeah? Just before you get to the KFC, which is at the end of Cold Harbor Lane, on the right-hand side, there's a Caribbean shop on the left-hand side, right? A, a Caribbean restaurant. But it's like a restaurant bar, isn't it? There's a restaurant at the back and there's a bar at the front. A bit like, um, fuck, what's that place called? There's a Caribbean food chain place. Yeah, it's quite popular in, 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 in London. They got like about five places. Let me find that car. I hate not knowing stuff. Um, if I type in Caribbean Camden. Cottons. So basically, this place is just like cottons. If you ever been cottons in um Camden, that's the only one I've been to, Chalk Farm, Camden, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. When you go in, there's a um there's a bar and then there's a restaurant bit uh, that yeah, you can see at the back there's a restaurant bit in it. Anyway, this place on Cold Harbor Lane, Brixton, yeah. If you're walking towards the KFC, which is at the end of the road where it meets the high street, on the right hand side is a KFC, but before that, on the left hand side, there is a uh, Caribbean place similar to Cotton's, right? They have unisex toilets, yeah? Downstairs, right? In the basement, there's unisex toilets, yeah? My goodness me. I feel sorry for any women that have to use those toilets, man. Piss all over the blood clot, okay? Just piss all over the seat. Just like that place, so feel like, but the piss all over the fucking place. Horrible. 